What is going on, guys? Yo, this is not your regular guy. No, this is your motivation guy. That's right, I'm here to motivate you, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I believe in you guys so much. That's why I stay passionate at what I do, man. So keep going, make me proud, man. Do the impossible. Mobile and Switch are easily two of the most difficult platforms to improve at Fortnite. With the limitations of low FPS, resolution, the difficulties of playing on a screen or joysticks, and so much more, man. It's really no wonder, like, why the average skill level of mobile and Switch are both lower than PC, you know, and larger consoles. So in this video, we're going to be discussing all the ways you mobile and Switch players can improve at Fortnite and overcome all the obstacles that may fall in your path. You know, we've been asked these questions a lot. I know personally for me on my Insta, you know, you mobile and Switch players. So we finally got one for you. All right, guys, you got to be sure to stick around for this video, right? Because it's going to be a good one. Even if you don't play on mobile or Switch, like stick around as well, because some of these tips are going to apply to you. All right. Trust me. Stick around. All right. You promise? All right. I'm watching. Here we go. All right, guys, and also, if you want to take your next step and improve at Fortnite, regardless about, like, what device you play on, head on over to ProGuys.com, where we have amazing courses from some of the best, you know, pro players in the world, along with 24-7 coaching from some, you know, awesome pros. And now we're starting to roll out live classes where some of the best Fortnite players and coaches are going to teach you all the different secrets to becoming the best. And guys, you got to join our brand new Pro Guys community Discord to gain access to tons of awesome stuff, including live Q&A sessions with pro Fortnite coaches to help you guys improve. And don't forget the brand new Pro Guys subreddit, right? We got so much going on, man. This is so exciting. They're both are going to be linked down below. And finally, guys, the question for you, which device do you guys play on and how does it limit your gameplay? Personally, you know, I've played on a lot of different devices, but I am playing on console myself let us know your thoughts down in the comments because I really, really want to know. All right, guys, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy to watch this video. It's that bunch of crunch. Let's get this going. Here we go. So the first step to improving on a platform like mobile or Switch, where you have major disadvantages, is to actually understand these disadvantages so you can try and work around them. You know, for mobile and Switch, the concern is usually FPS. Switch players typically, you know, hover around 30 FPS, and mobile gets between like 30 and 60 most of the time, with 120 being possible on higher end devices. You know, knowing that your FPS is pretty low, you can tell ahead of time that your reaction time will be slower. Your builds and edits will also have, you know, to be done slowly instead of, you know, the insane edits you might see from PC players. And you'll probably have more input lag on top of all of this. You know, another potential disadvantage is the fact that on mobile, your entire game is controlled by a touchscreen. My goodness. You know, you have to press the buttons on your actual screen to perform the actions, which may slow you down if you don't know what you're doing. But okay, don't worry, we'll get into the solution for that in a bit. Okay guys, so let's discuss the solution to low FPS. Low FPS, man, is pretty much inevitable on any lower end platform like Switch or mobile. So it's just something we have to work around. What I recommend doing is to focus on playing slower in a way. Okay, you probably won't be able to crank, you know, fade, sway, retakes, the height limit, or pull off a 0.01 second Mongo Classic on 30 FPS. As cool as that would be, that's just not gonna happen. I'm really sorry. Instead, okay, maintain control over all your edits. Don't be afraid to perform them, you know, a bit slower, just to make sure they go through to the servers. The same goes for building. Also, on low FPS, you're not going to be able to just simply like flick around and just box up the instant someone shoots in your direction in the actual game. Instead, make sure to have situational awareness everywhere you go. You know, look around in every direction, make sure the coast is clear so that you can avoid getting snuck up on. All right, next up, we're going to be talking about practice. You know, that thing we all know and love. With the major disadvantages you'll run into when playing on lower end devices, <laughs> you're gonna have to focus on practicing, man, efficiently and working around those disadvantages. We're gonna shoot him. Oh. What is his position? There's oh no way. <laughs> you know, contrary to what most people think, it doesn't necessarily take more practice than it would on PC or console in order to get good at a lower end device. In fact, it actually may be the opposite. Like instead, it takes more specific practice. 
basically like instead of just spending a ton of time you know trying to do the same you know insane mechanical stuff that you see all the pros doing what you want to instead focus on is you know the easier and simpler you know techniques that are realistic for you to perform on your device then given some time you're going to be able to learn the harder stuff after getting your fundamentals down right it really that's the key fundamentals so think of your skill as a skyscraper. Sure, you know, skyscrapers are really, really cool. They are, I love them. <laughs> but there's just one thing that they all need and that's a strong foundation. Okay, so without a strong foundation, man, the skyscraper will just collapse. So you gotta try to focus initially on building up that solid foundation. So the skyscraper you build, which is the advanced techniques you end up learning, come easier to you. So that means taking the simpler techniques first, like double edits, you know, cone jumps, peanut butters, Mongo classics, and other stuff that most people consider easy, and just practicing them over and over and over again until you have a master. Then you can just use these techniques as a foundation to learn more advanced stuff, you get it? You know, on Switch and mobile, like learning these advanced techniques takes a much stronger foundation. And it's not like you can just simply hop into it. So you gotta take your time, okay? Build that strong foundation, guys. You can do it, I believe in you, and then practice the hard stuff. Okay, so one quick tip for you mobile players out there is try using the claw grip. So the claw grip is something we covered in another video, our solo FNCS guide, but I wanna go over it one more time for you mobile folks, okay? Because if you do it correctly, then this can absolutely <laughs> bring your game to the next level. The claw grip basically consists of having more fingers on your screen so you can just perform more actions at the same time. Instead of just playing with two fingers like most of us, you know, top mobile players often use four, six, or sometimes even eight fingers. This allows them to perform more actions at once. And honestly, you know, if you haven't done it yet, this will absolutely bring your skill to the next level. To learn claw, okay, just head into creative and just force yourself to use it. It's gonna be uncomfortable at first, for sure, but you know, even after a while, but you just gotta give it some time, all right? You'll get used to it and then you'll approve, you know, a ton. Almost every top mobile player uses claw and really it's no wonder why. Another helpful tip, guys, is to make sure you optimize your HUD and button layout so that you can not only see everything, but also make it so that you can perform each important action like jumping, you know, building, editing, you know, you get it, without having to move your hands a ton. The claw grip and optimized HUD are both, you know, some of the biggest things that separate the best mobile players, you know, from the rest in terms of mechanics. Next, guys, it's really a simple yet effective tip, all right? And that's to learn from better players. Whether you have a really skilled friend like you like to play with and you can just help out or, or can help you out, or even if you watch some pro mobile or Switch players, like you can just really learn a lot from simply really just watching them play and taking notes. Honestly, there's so much to learn from pros and skilled players that you can just easily pick up, you know, some simple, cool stuff by just watching them. So whichever platform you play on, you know, find some pros that you can just watch to learn from, you know, watch for their strategies, man, mechanical tricks and anything else that you can think of. All right. And try to utilize their tricks in your gameplay. One important thing to note, guys, is that you shouldn't just copy someone's play style or like what they do. Instead, this is what you got to do. All right. You got to learn from what they do. Yeah. You got to try out some aspects of it. You know, you got to find out what works in your own play style. You just can't just be a complete copycat. You're not a robot. Finally, guys, the last tip in this video is to play against PC and console players and 1v1 zone wars or any other methods of practice to improve. The reason for this is that, you know, that that forced crossplay is a really big thing in Fortnite and keeping up with the other platforms, it is so important. The thing is, like, you need to learn and adapt to the more aggressive and fast strategies people use on other platforms. Most decent PC players can do more advanced stuff like retakes, you know, Mongo classics and so much more, you know. So practicing against these PC and console players who, you know, can usually do stuff faster. It's just a great way to get used to it and perform better against them in game. So try to take some time and practice against more aggressive, faster players, especially those on platforms. So you can just adapt, you know, to their play styles and really just perform better. Okay, guys, so that's going to be it for the tips. But let's do a quick recap for everything we talked about. You guys ready? Here we go. Hope you pumped up. Let's do it. First up, make sure to understand your disadvantages and focus on practicing around them. Okay, so one of these big disadvantages is the low FPS. Whew. For low FPS players, listen, it's important to focus on being precise and taking it a bit slower because your mechanics will be slightly more limited. Try to take your time with everything that you do, okay? And make sure it goes through to the servers. Avoid doing the insane mechanical stuff until you really reach that level, okay? In terms of practice, try to practice the basic fundamentals more before you start to advance into the difficult stuff. You know, make sure you're 100% confident, man, you know, with the foundational stuff before you start to get more advanced, because this is just going to make you so much more consistent and a better overall player. You got it? Okay. 
for mobile players. What's up, guys? Try using the claw grip to maximize the amount of actions that you can perform at once. If you're on Switch, you know, you can use claw as well. If you have a, a pro controller in a similar, you know, fashion to controller players on PS4 and Xbox. Overall, man, claw allows you to do more at once. So similar to, you know, how the top controller players and most keyboard and mouse players can. Finally, the last tip is to practice, practice, practice against PC and console players or very mechanical players on mobile and Switch. This is going to allow you to learn and adapt to the unique, fast-paced, you know, play style that players on the other platforms often use, man. So, you know, as good as, you know, playing against other mobile and Switch players around your skill level can be, I get it, you're going to succeed the most in actual games by practicing, you know, against the hardest players, all right? Especially with forced crossplay. You know, it's even more important to learn and adapt to the strategies these players use. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, 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 I believe in you guys, man. So keep going, don't ever give up. I love the testimonies you guys send me. There's so many, you know, young people that are just doing some great, great stuff, man. So proud of you guys. Also, in the description of this video, we're gonna be dropping a link to our new Pro Guys community Discord. Trust me, <laughs> you won't regret joining. With that being said, drop a like on the video and subscribe for more awesome content just like this. And let us know down in the comments on our Discord server which videos you would like to see next. Have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Peace out.